Hi friends, welcome back. This week we are looking at joy in hard times. No oh boy. We are yeah, right. <laughs> We're camping on in 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 3 through 8. And this is Peter encouraging mm -hmm. and giving hope to people as they are in very difficult times. Um, and we'll get into that in just a second can, here. Can I read yeah. just a couple of the verses out of here? Because it feels like this is the kind of the heart of the passages. Mm -hmm. Verses 6 and 7, this is what it says. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trouble. These mm -hmm. have come to you so that your faith of a greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and mm -hmm. may result in praise and glory and honor with Jesus Christ when he's revealed. So mm -hmm. there's this there's this joy that can be found in, even in the hard times. Yeah. So I think this passage particularly, it helps if we get to know, if we're talking about the car essentials, the H, the history. I want to know what were those hard times that they were going through? Mm -hmm. So now if you were over in, in Acts chapter, uh, chapter 8, um, after Stephen was murdered, the people were scattered. They scattered out of Jerusalem, and this mm -hmm. caused the gospel to spread. But Peter is now writing to these, these early Christians, both Jews and Gentiles, who were scattered outside of Jerusalem. And mm -hmm. so you see in the very first couple of verses in 1 Peter, he's addressing it to the Christians who were in exile. Mm -hmm. And early on, these Christians were receiving a lot of persecution, particularly mm -hmm. yeah. from, at first, it was just from the Jews. Uh, the Jews were looking at him saying, well, because the Christians were saying, hey, the Messiah came and he's introduced this new covenant. And so the Jews stepped away. Or, I mean, sorry, the early Christians were no longer following some of the old covenant, like dietary yeah. restrictions and things like that. So there was some tension mm -hmm. and some rub. There's some brutal stuff, on. Some, some brutal stuff that they ended up oh. experiencing, though. It wasn't right. just like, hey, you're saying something that we don't agree with. It was like death and right. murder. And it gets kind of scary. Well, it, goes, yeah. it goes from bad to worse. So at first, these Christians were being put in prison, like mm -hmm. Paul was putting them in prison here. And, um, and Peter is writing this right at a time where he knows that the Romans are going to start to per persecute them too. So it's going to go from bad to worse as the Romans, I mean, we go from prison yeah. to to murder. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to highlight one thing here because my study Bible here, this one happens to be a New Living Translation. It's a life application Bible. And the reason I want to show this is because the biblical text is up here in the first quarter of the page. All of this stuff down below mm -hmm. here is There's all telling this yeah. history about the persecution they were facing mm -hmm. from, from the Jews, from their family Very members. Very meaty information. Lots yeah. of information that adds so much history mm -hmm. and context yeah. to, to this story. And you can tell there's a lot going on just mm -hmm. by the amount of right. study notes. Right. Yeah. So Peter's encouraging and giving hope and joy to these people who were living in exile. Mm -hmm. They were away from their homes. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I have spent some time away from home. And if you've read the devotional for this week, I talk mm -hmm. about our family being in exile, <sighs> what my kids would say, but we, we were homeless. You really mm -hmm. were. We literally lived in a motor home, which was a blessing because we did need a place to stay, but it was a bit brutal. I mean, it five, was... Five kids, two adults. Five kids, yeah. two adults, and a 32-foot 1980 Airbus. Um you know, oh. and I'm talking grown kids. So like people stretched out on the floors and on the table. And mm -hmm. my husband, who is very orderly and likes everything in its place, yeah. was, I mean, that added a whole new element of stress because where do you right. put seven sleeping bags and seven sets of boots? And even yeah. in a normal size home, that's stressful. But in a tight space, it was a lot. And we were, there were a lot of unknowns in our life. And so it mm -hmm. was, it. we had mm -hmm. some really hard rubs yeah. right with that situation so how did the bible yeah. help you within that i mean like how did you mm -hmm. find joy in a circumstance like that because that i mean like yeah that's what peter's really you know mm -hmm. that's what the first mm -hmm. peter's really talking right. about well here. thankfully just like first peter because god had been consistent in his life through all of the things and he could recount back all the ways that god was faithful we i had to do mm -hmm. that on a morning by lunch by dinner basis every day like yeah. okay god yeah. i know you are who you say you are you are yeah. faithful you are true you are consistent you're true to your word i had to like breathe it in yeah. and out because there were times when it, things felt scary and unsure mm -hmm. but ultimately I knew it was right. going to be okay, but in the right. middle of it was pretty ugly. Well, and that's what I love about Peter as well is he's reminding these early Christians that everything that we have here, like all those problems, it's temporary. Right. And so in this chapter one, in these verses we're covering, yeah. if you dive with us in this study this week, Peter is pointing mm -hmm. to things that are eternal, reminding them to look, keep their eyes ahead on their eternal mm -hmm. inheritance yeah. and on this joy that doesn't come from your circumstances. That's right. Yeah. And I love, I love in that verse that you read, Heather, it talks about, 
that Jesus Christ is revealed right, right. as we suffer and experience right. trials. And right. the whole so. the whole book of First Peter, I was actually looking through my study notes, and it kept on pointing to other places where it's like you can find a living mm -hmm. hope in Christ. Mm -hmm. And it and it speaks throughout the entire. It kept on pointing to other verses throughout the whole yeah. book of First uh -huh. Peter. So I mean, if you really want a deep nerdy uh, Bible study, like First Peter yeah. is a nice place to camp if you're in a hard time because yep. he it, reminds yeah, sure. us over and over and over about the living yeah. hope that we can find in Christ, yeah. and that that's where we should focus, not on what's happening that's here. Right. Right. And I should mention that if we ever feature a Bible, uh, a Bible that we're using, you can find a link to this Bible, maybe not this cover, but this Bible, a New Living Translation Application yeah. Bible on our website. Yeah. Under, yeah. under our resources section, yeah. there's a whole what we recommend uh, section because yeah. uh, we have a lot of things that we use in our own yeah. personal study that we want to make sure we recommend to you guys. Yeah, for sure. So ladies, join with us this week. We are all going through hard times. We've all been there before. Let's let's dive in and find out how Peter can encourage us with God's word and find joy in the midst of our hard times. Sounds good. See you later. <laughs>